Hey, this is Gabriel Duplicating Systems, and in this video, I'm going to cover three destinations you can scan to with your Canon copier. So first, I'll briefly cover how you can physically scan a document with any of these three methods. First, you can use the scanning glass. Just open the top and place your page or book face down on the glass. You can also use the document feeder. The document feeder can handle one or multiple pages worth of documents. If you're worried about the buttons I'm pressing right now, you'll, you'll see later on in another video. So the three types of copier scanning I'm going to cover in this video is scan to email, scan to advanced box, and scan to a flash drive. Scan to email allows you to scan in a document using your copier, and that scan will be sent from your copier to an email address. If you want to learn how to set that up, click on the gray card in the upper right corner. The video, however, is designed for Gmail accounts. If you want to learn how to set up other email accounts for your scan to email, such as Charter, Outlook, any number, then I have another video showing you how to research your SMTP settings so that you can set up scan to email with non-Gmail accounts and you can click on that gray card in the upper right corner. Next I've got scan to advanced box. This allows you to scan a document that is stored on your copier's hard drive. A cool feature of advanced box is that the folder is accessible on both your copier and your computer. You can drop all sorts of file types on your copier from your computer and have other computers grab those files if they need to. We have a bunch of videos on AdvanceBox, but if you want to see how to set up AdvanceBox on your PC, click on the gray card in the upper right corner. The Apple version is in the description. Lastly, I've got scan to a flash drive. Just pop in a flash drive and scan documents to it. If you want to see how that's done, click on the gray card. If you want to learn more about AdvanceBox, click on the video in the upper left corner. Or if you want to learn how to set up scan to email or scan to AdvanceBox, Click on the links on the screen. If you have any questions, ask us down in the comments below. Thanks for watching.